What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to a little bit of a fall themed video. And that is in the sense that we're actually at a Trader Joe's right now. One, I haven't been here in a while. I want to see if they have any new things in general. But two, more importantly, I want to try out some of their new fall items. Now, a lot of their stuff probably isn't the most macro friendly, but some of it could be really, really good. And if you're looking for some fall themed treats, might be worth it. So as always, just uh, give me a thumbs up button now so you don't forget. And let's go see what Trader Joey's has to offer. All right, and actually before I even get into the store, um, they have two things, a cinnamon bar blondie roll, probably delicious. Calories are crazy, crazy high, but we'll get that and um, classic JoJo's, pretty much like an Oreos type of deal and we'll go ahead and get these as well. So as we get into like soups and things, they have two kind of fall items, this harvest chili. I believe I had this last season and it was really good. Only 320 calories in the whole container with 11 grams of protein. But I think with like some ground beef, this would be really, really good. And then right next to that, they have their pumpkin bisque, 240 calories, three grams of protein, kind of like a lighter bisque but probably pretty good as well, so we'll try it out. And this video can't be all about me, so I'll get some uh, pumpkin flavored dog treats for Natty as well. So now into uh, some, I guess, some dairy products, and really the only thing I found over here is some pumpkin overnight oats, and 200 calories, that's about right for like overnight oats. And this will probably be pretty decent, so I'll try it out. Now, not necessarily fall themed, but I'm gonna get some turkey to cook up with that chili. But there are some more fall things over here, so I guess I'm just gonna get everything fall themed. We have pumpkin tortilla chips, um, another cookie option, these are maple leaf cookies, pumpkin spice snickerdoodle cookie mix, that sounds like a lot of work, I'm not gonna get that. And then, well, more dog treats don't need that either. All right, now into pasta, they have two two different options. They have a gluten-free pumpkin ravioli, 200 calories, five grams of protein, and they have a honey roasted pumpkin ravioli, non-gluten-free, 220 with eight grams of protein. I think I'd rather try this one out actually. All right, I was really unaware how many options they have, but they have a Trader Joe's pumpkin O's, so we'll go ahead and try that out too. And a maple sea salt kettle corn. I bet this is actually really, really good. All right, this is very, very naughty, but there are a ton of pumpkin options over here. And I said I was gonna get a little bit of everything, so. We got truffles, we got pumpkin spice bagels. Let me look at the macros on this real quick. 290, that's a lot. We have a maple strudel bread. I can just feel that this thing has a lot of, ca yeah, 150 calories per slice. Get this too. Jeez, and then I don't even know what these are, Maybelline cookies? Not sure what it is, but I'll, I'll give them a shot, why not? Jeez, okay, I literally cannot get away from the sweets. I'm definitely not keeping all this stuff, but I'm gonna get it just in case. Um, I believe this is seasonal right now. They are cinnamon spice sugar cashews or something, so try this. Um, I'm not gonna get any cider, but probably pretty good with like fireball or whiskey or something. And then right next to that, we have pancake mix. Directions seem easy, not sure if I'm gonna make it or not, but I'll get it regardless. And they also have oat milk, but I don't drink oat milk, so I'm not gonna get this. All right, and this will actually be really good to have with the tortilla chips, some fall harvest salsa. We have maple flavored fudge. We have maple pancake snaps, pumpkin biscotti, mini maple walnut biscotti. These look like some decorative chocolates. I'm not gonna get these, but I've actually got these last season. I know they're pretty good, so I will get these, some pumpkin spiced pretzels. All right, we have some fall pasta. I guess they're just shaped like pumpkin, but they're pasta. And then right above that, we have their autumn harvest sauce. Jesus, 100 calories for a half a cup. That's a lot, but I guess we'll get it. And then I think they have uh, more options of the soups we got earlier. They have coffee, they have <laughs> they have so much stuff. Um, this would be good in like a dip, but it's open, so I'm not gonna get that. They have more tortilla chips, but I think these are just shaped like leaves and there's nothing really special about them. Um, this is a interesting one, some different nut mixture, so I'll try this. They have like cinnamon bun spread, pumpkin butter. I don't see any need for that in my life, as well as 
maple mar marshmallows. Don't need that, but I will get these. These are like some cereal bars that are pumpkin themed. I can 1000% promise you I'm not gonna want anything pumpkin after this video. And of course they got the uh, maple pecan granola fall themed. Now I may not make the pancakes in this video, but I'm assuming they're gonna taste pretty similar to these frozen waffles. So I'm gonna get these. And it looks like for ice cream options, they have just like normal pumpkin ice cream. And they also have a salted maple ice cream. I feel like this is probably tastier, so I'm gonna get this one. And I believe these are instant oatmeal packets, or at least I hope they are, but they are pumpkin pecan, so we'll get these as well. All right, in the frozen meals section, they actually had two options for their kind of fall theme, and this is butternut squash lasagna, with some, uh, once again, pretty hefty macros, and their Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese, with once again, some pretty heavy macros, but regardless, we'll try them out. Okay, and the last thing I found as I was checking out are some like coated Jojo's. This will wrap us up. A very full cart of a ton of calories. All right, back in the car, uh, everything kind of loaded up behind me. I spent almost exactly $160 total. There might be like 200 grams of protein in there. First initial thought, not a lot of high protein or low calorie items, but we'll see how tasty they are when we get home and try them all out. All right, we are home. I just took a thumbnail, but there is 35 items laid out right now. And what's crazy is I didn't even get every single fall and pumpkin themed thing. A little overboard, I think, but I guess it's what they're known for. And let's see if it's any good. I'm gonna sit down and let's just try some of this stuff out. All right, I figured the first thing we try should just be the dog treats. Natty already got a little idea. Come here, you wanna try a treat? Do you wanna try a treat? Yeah, it's a treat for you. And uh, yeah, I think she likes it. <laughs> All right, I've cleared out a little bit of room for myself and I'm gonna pretty much try everything that I can right now while sitting right here so that I don't have to like cook or anything. Um, and I'm just gonna go in order. So uh, let's start with the Halloween Joe's, JoJo's. I believe these have the exact same macros as uh, Oreos. And I mean, yeah, they look like normal Oreos. So I guess the question is, are they as tasty as Oreos? Are they good? Yeah, they're obviously pretty freaking good. I don't know if they're as good as an Oreo though. I feel like I'd rather still have an Oreo. The filling's very similar. I feel like the chocolate cracker is a little better on an Oreo. By the way, I'm definitely not gonna eat all of this stuff. I'm gonna give it to like friends and things um, if I don't wanna keep it. So like this one, probably not gonna keep just because I don't need to have a whole pack of pretty much Oreos laying around the house. Now, this one is uh, a interesting one. Excuse my camera. I don't know what's going on with the autofocus, but it's like jumping back and forth. It's pretty frustrating, I know, but uh, these are the pumpkin spice covered JoJo's. So it's like a chocolate covered Oreo pretty much. So one cookie is 120 calories. Two of these is 140. But I mean, it does look pretty good. Yeah, that's interesting. And also it's like a pumpkin spice cookie as well. So not just the filling is pumpkin spice, but the cookie is too. Yeah, I mean, I feel like with a lot of this stuff, you gotta really, really like pumpkin spice. But if you do, these are actually really freaking good. All right, done with that. Move on to some nuts. So we have uh, cinnamon sugar cashews with brown sugar and something. So yeah, they're just like coated nuts. Oh, hard coated. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see these being uh, fall themed. They just taste kind of normal but they were right next to these, so I thought maybe they were both fall themed. I, I mean, they're good. I just, I wouldn't say they're technically fall themed in my opinion, but to like bring to a party or something, I could definitely see this being a good option. But is it a better option than these? These are a maple spice nut mix, and I feel like that's probably going to be, and this is like a trail mix too, so you have like nuts, fruit, a little bit of everything. Let's see how this is tasting. Oh yeah, maple rosemary is the seasoning. You almost get a little bit of like back end kick on that too, which is pretty interesting. Mmm, these are actually really good. Between the two nuts, I would definitely get this one. This mix is really good. Um, the calories and macros are like the same, 190 calories, five grams of protein in both. But yeah, if you're looking to like get something to set out for like a party or just have a nut mix lying around, this one's definitely good and fall themed. 
Oh, okay. I'm already getting sick, but let's try out the Maybelline cookies. Two cookies is 190 calories, two grams of protein. Like, is there a point to these? Like, are these supposed to be eaten with something? Uh, they're like a kind of hard outside, maybe soft inside. Um, they're all right. I don't think they're anything special, really. Like, it's not like a really nice, moist uh, pumpkin bread. Honestly, wouldn't recommend these. Kind of just eh. But we can see how they compare to like something like this. One slice of this bread is 150 calories and it is the maple strudel bread. As I was checking out, the lady, well, one, she was like, damn, you got a lot of uh, pumpkin themed this stuff. But she also said this is like one of her favorite items. So we'll get in here and try a slice. It's got like icing on the top and the bottom. Um, wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty insane for bread. Like I feel like it's definitely less of a bread and more of like a dessert item. It almost tastes a little bit like a maple cinnamon roll was like turned into bread. This would probably be delicious if you made French toast out of it. But for 150 calories for a single like small slice of bread, it's just so hard to like recommend that to someone unless it's for like a special occasion or something. Um, all right, let's have a biscotti off. So we have the maple biscottis and the pumpkin biscottis. The calories are exactly the same. Two pieces are 110 calories with two grams of protein. Now I know biscottis are supposed to be eaten with coffee, but it is nighttime. I don't want coffee and I would rather just eat them. It smells pretty good. Okay, so that was the pumpkin one, and it was kind of like subtle, not super like overbearingly pumpkin-y, but uh, it was good, the flavor was good. I feel like it had nice spices in there. Now we'll go ahead and try the maple walnut. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the drizzle over top of the maple walnut may make it a little sweeter, but I would say the flavor of the biscotti itself isn't quite up to par with this one. Definitely two different vibes, but if I had to choose one of them, I would be choosing the pumpkin one over the maple one. Doesn't really matter because I don't eat biscottis with coffee, but if you're someone who does, that is my opinion on them. All right, tummy's starting to ache, but we are trucking through. Um, let's switch things up a little bit. Let's go and try. We have our pumpkin tortilla chips, and we'll partner up with the fall harvest salsa. The salsa actually is really good. Two tablespoons for 10 calories. That's, I mean, that's about average for salsa, but still not too bad at all. And then the tortilla chips are normal too, 150 calories for nine chips. First, let me just try one. Honestly, it just tastes like a normal tortilla chip. Although I will say there is an aftertaste a little bit of like some cinnamon and nutmeg. Very interesting, but it's very subtle. Like it's not overpowering by any means. Now we'll try some with the salsa, which looks more like soup. Oh, wow. It's honestly really good. I like this salsa a lot. It really does just taste like normal salsa with just a hint of pumpkin, but pumpkin is the first ingredient in the ingredient list. But I feel like the pumpkin is there more for the consistency. It's definitely a creamier salsa, and I actually really enjoy it. This is one of my favorites so far, honestly, this combo. Really, really good. I'm gonna actually keep it here to like cleanse my palate because I'm sure everything else is gonna be so, so sweet. And speaking of it, let's get into something sweet. Pumpkin spice. Little cookies. I'm like, how many different varieties of sugary cookies can you make? I guess it'd be like a coated animal style type of cookie, but geez. So yeah, just little pumpkins. These are nicer. They're not like overpowering like some of the other stuff out there. And that is actually pretty enjoyable. You get four little cookies for 130 calories, 13 grams of added sugar in this one. It is crazy. That people like, like I would never go out and buy this stuff on my own unless I was doing it for a video. Um, all right, let's try something that I'm sure is going to be overpowering. And that is these little pumpkin things. Three of these cakes are 410 calories. So what is that, like 130 something calories per little cake thing? I just, it's crazy. But yeah, just a little bite-sized cake. I don't really get any pumpkin. I think it might just be orange, but it's like a layer of mousse on top of like a soft cake. And uh, I mean, it's good, but I don't think it's pumpkin themed at all. I think it's pumpkin shaped, which is a little deceptive, Trader Joe. But I'm sure if you're having a party or something, this would be like a decorative thing anyways. So 
teach his own, I guess. All right, and these might be actually pretty helpful for me. They're like a fruit pumpkin breakfast bar, 130 calories, only two grams of protein, but I feel like that's very similar to like a granola bar, or nature bar of this caliber, like a big Newton. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely what it's looking like here. The inside's really, really sweet. I wasn't expecting it to be so sweet, but it does say that the filling is brown rice syrup, cane sugar, cane syrup, apple powder, pumpkin, and then a bunch of other stuff. So it's 100% sugar. Um, for me, I think it's a little overpowering, the sweetness and the sp spice in it. And I actually enjoy pumpkin spice. I think I'm actually a little disappointed by these. Maybe my hopes were a little high. Oh man, okay. We're getting through it. Uh, let's go. More freaking cookies, maple leaf cookies. I'm thinking they're gonna be very similar in the cookie sense to what these are. Um, just those are covered in pumpkin spice. These are actually a little bigger, I think, than the JoJo's. And the macros in these are about 110 calories for one cookie. So this is a little lower calories than a JoJo as well. But let's see how it tastes. Yeah, you know what? I like these a lot. It's a little bit thicker of a cookie, a little bit thicker of a cream, and I feel like you get a little more volume out of it, especially for the calories. And um, it's not overbearingly powerful. You get like a hint of maple in the cream, which is really nice, but the cookie is just kind of like a simple cookie. Yeah, I actually, um, I really enjoy these. This is probably like one of my favorite things that I've had in this little sit down. All right, we're gonna try this, which I am not a fan of fudge in general, but for you, I'm gonna try it. Um, do me a favor, please hit that thumbs up button. But it is 130 calories, 21 grams of, I guess it's pure sugar. So 21 grams of sugar. So about three pieces is one serving. Yeah, I mean, I think for fudge, it's not bad. It does have a really good maple flavor. Um, you get a lot of that like butter in there as well. It's a little crumbly. I think if you're a fudge fan, it's worth maybe trying out. If you're not like me, it's definitely not worth trying out. <laughs> All right, and now I tried a couple things, like just a couple of things from Trader Joe's last year during the fall. These were really good actually. 11 pretzels um, for 150 calories. And you're like, oh, that's about the same as like a pretzel crisp that like I eat all the time. And yeah, it is. But in this case, size does matter. Uh, it's so, it's like a third of the size. But they are really good. The pumpkin spice coating is good. And then you have a nice, crunchy, salty pretzel underneath it. That's like the type of snack that I like anyways. Definitely still one of my like favorites out of this bunch. This, I'm not too sure about, but I feel like I had to buy it. Maple pancake snaps. And uh, yeah, they're just little hard cookies. Maybe I'm a little like sensory dead in my lips now and my tongue, but it doesn't have that much flavor. I will say it's one of the higher volume things on here though. Six cookies is 130 calories uh, with only eight grams of sugar. So sugar coming down a little bit, but like these don't, these don't like jumping out like incredible tasting to me. Um, let's go ahead and try this out. We have the maple kettle corn, one and one half cup for 150 calories. I feel like that's about average for kettle corn. I got a few pieces out and I'm gonna try a few pieces out. And I tell you what, I actually really like that. The maple is like very subtle in there. It's a really good combination of the salty and the kettle corn, the sweet. And like I said, just like a hint of that maple actually does go a pretty long way. All right, now for the pumpkin nose, typically I try it with milk. I don't have any milk, one. And two, uh, I wanna just try it as is. And also, I've already had these before. I know they're actually pretty decent. They definitely smell like cinnamon and pumpkin, but I would say they nailed the amount of flavoring in these. You're definitely, definitely gonna notice the difference between these and normal Joe O's or whatever they're called, but it's not too overpowering. And like, you can actually sit down and eat a bowl of them without feeling like, too worn out from the flavor. And hopefully the same can be said for the maple pecan granola. Very just like basic kind of clumpy granola. I tell you what, I don't really taste any maple. There are like pecan pieces in there. All around this just tastes like normal granola to me. 
like maybe a hint of pecan because there are pecans in there, but not really a much of the maple. I wouldn't really say it's fall themed. I think that could be sold year round, honestly. But as far as like the things that I could just sit down and eat right away, um, that is pretty much it. Oh, actually, let me let me grab the ice cream. And I'll try that. All right, now this ice cream is quite quite naughty. Uh, this pint has eight hundred fifty thousand. No, eight hundred fifty thousand. Eight hundred fifty calories in it, and the flavor is salted maple. I don't know if you can really tell, but it has like lines of maple, I guess, going through the ice cream. I tell you what, that's done very, very well. Um, it's definitely a vanilla ice cream base with a little bit of maple flavoring in there. And then that wine, I believe, is like caramel. I think, once again, a very good, not overpowering blend of flavor. And um, I'm not a huge ice cream fan, but I do really actually enjoy this. All right, so I just quickly split up things that I would get again, things that I probably wouldn't. And this is pretty much entirely based on flavor because the calories of all of this is not great. But uh, the maple ice cream was really good. This mix, this nut mix was great. Uh, the salsa, the chips, the popcorn, all really good. The maple leaf cookies, definitely over the normal JoJo's. The pretzels. Um, this I was kind of on the fence about, but I think it could be really good depending on how you use it. Dog treats, obviously Natty liked them, and the pumpkin O's. Um, all of this stuff over here, kind of eh, probably wouldn't get it again. Probably going to have to like give it to someone else. All right, it is now the next day and I'm about to work out. So I figured for a pre-workout snack, I could try the overnight mushy oats. So in this, there is 200 calories and 5 grams of protein. Not the craziest macros, but that's about normal for oats. And right off the bat, that is definitely a pumpkin flavoring in there. All right, and it does look like baby food, but hopefully it tastes like not baby food. And actually, yeah, I really like that a lot. It tastes like a combination of oatmeal and like the inside of a pumpkin pie. Um, and all around, I would say that's pretty pretty tasty. I would definitely, definitely get this again. All right, it is now dinner time again. And I feel like one of the main, I guess, meals that I really wanted to try out that I feel like could be pretty good is the butternut squash mac and cheese. Calories and macros aren't incredible with not a lot of protein. So I am going to use some ground turkey that I also got at Trader Joe's. But for this thing, it says all I need to do is take it out of the package and put it in the microwave for like five or six minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Crazy that like this one little serving is 540 calories. And while it's in the microwave, check this out. First time trying the like mesh straight leg joggers from TLF. Super, super comfortable. This is an XL. I probably could have got a large, but I do like the oversized fit. Um, this is a, like a, I think it's a technique mesh long sleeve. This is in an XL. And I think this fits really well. Definitely feels nice getting some new clothes, getting prepped for the fall slash winter season that's coming up close upon us. Um, and if you want to get anything from TLF, my discount code now is worth 20%. That's not like a limited time thing. It's always going to be worth 20% now. So you get an extra 5%, which is awesome. And it still does help me out, which is also really nice. So if you want to use it, link it down below for that. Um, but let's try out dinner, huh? All right, out of the microwave, all heated up. The portion still looks pretty small, but it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna roughly do about half of it into a bowl. And then over top, just add some ground turkey. This is literally just turkey, salt, and pepper. All right, and dinner is served. Um, yeah, it just seems like not a lot of pasta for like 250, almost 300 calories, but that means it's probably pretty tasty, or at least hopefully we got a little bit of everything in there. Yeah, I mean, that is good. It's a very subtle, like, fall butternut squash kind of flavor in there. There must be, like, a lot of fat or, like, a lot of, like, oils or something in the sauce and in the cheese. But I will say it does taste pretty good. Now, because I added the meat in there, it is a little dry. I think I have an idea. This would be a good opportunity to try out the fall harvest pasta sauce. I posted a story that I was like using some of stuff and someone responded to it and said this is this is like really good. So let's see if they're right or they're wrong. 
This stuff has actually pretty high calories too. I mean, it's not crazy, but 100 calories per half a cup, that's pretty decent. That's like relatively high. So give us a quick stir in here. All right, and now we have a much saucier bite. This pasta sauce is actually really, really good. Like a butternut squash and pumpkin mix. I'm telling you, things with pumpkin in it have such a creamy consistency. Um, and I've used pumpkin in a lot of like my old recipes and stuff because it gives it that creamy consistency. As a pasta sauce, it's actually really good. Yeah, I think for something like this, um, the combination of the three different things together do make for a pretty good meal that I would definitely eat again. In fact, I have all the stuff to make it again, so I'm going to. So overall, yeah, pretty pleased with uh, dinner for tonight. All right, I was gonna try out a couple more things in this video, but it's getting pretty long. I have other videos to do this in, and I definitely will be doing that. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what your favorite thing from the fall Trader Joe's items are in the comments down below. But for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Press thumbs up button, please. And I will be seeing you very shortly in the next one.